Well, hello everyone, and welcome. I'm doing a small little bit here. Uh, I hope you guys are cool with it. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of a grind video before I start off the main video. Hopefully the video that I'm uploading this to is uh, my zombie girlfriend, because if it isn't, well, then that kind of fucking sucks. But um, anyway, so I want to let you guys know about my second channel, which is uh, a backup channel. And also, it's going to have a few exclusive series on it as well. So when I'm doing, I don't know, my time-traveling girlfriend or whatever, I could be doing, you know, my robot girlfriend on the other channel. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to upload them onto my main channel. It's just they're going to be private videos on my main channel, but they're going to be um, viewable to the public on my secondary channel. Um, but each each uh, channel, which is MFox Gaming, is the main one, and then MFox Gaming 2 is the secondary. So we're going to refer to my main channel as the primary and the secondary as the secondary. I hope that I know that makes sense, but anyway, so um, I'm making the second channel because I want to have a way to back up all my videos just in case because I've been losing a lot of videos lately. Like, there's been a few videos that, like, if I leave them private for too long or something, they just get removed for some reason. And also, it takes a lot longer for me to fucking upload videos, and it really, really sucks. <laughs> That's probably because I got another con content claim, but hey. You know, I tried. I fucking tried to make it so I could watch an anime episode with you guys, but apparently I can only do that if I'm streaming or something. I don't know. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, we're almost at 700 subscribers. Can you believe that shit? Personally, I can't. I mean, that's fucking, it's pretty, it's pretty hardcore. I mean, right? Let's give, let's give ourselves a little bit of a clap here. Uh, anyway, so hopefully the video I'm uploading this to is a My Zombie Girlfriend video, but it'll probably be, I was going to put this on a My Elf Girlfriend video. Uh, speaking of which, I lost some footage for that, and I haven't gotten it back, so um, that video will be coming soon. Uh, it is already uploaded and scheduled, um, but anyway, back to the uh, channels. So, <clears throat> on my primary, it's it's great. We're almost 700. Um, on my, uh, not my second, no, did I say my secondary or my primary? Okay, my primary has almost 700. My main has none. I'm not, like, telling you guys, hey, go subscribe. I'm just saying if you guys want to see a uh, certain series... I'll be playing them on that channel. Um, now, yes, this will affect my upload schedule to maybe three to four videos a week. Um, but keep in mind that I'm always going to take every Sunday off because I have, to, I have to watch anime someday. I mean, come on, guys. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so there will be some series that I will not put on my main channel, but I will put them on. But they'll be privated, so they won't be viewable unless I lose my secondary channel. Both of them are kind of a... Um, they're basically, they're backup for each other. So, like, I'll upload one series on this one, another series on my primary. You know, it's this is how it is. And I also have a third channel, but that one's going to be, uh, it's going to stay private completely until, um, you know, until shit happens. So, um, after I finish the My Zombie Girlfriend series and any other series I'm currently working on, I will, um, I will start uh, uploading frequently to the secondary channel. So, you guys can go ahead and check that out. Uh, for right now, there's just some random video that I don't know where, how the fuck got on my phone, but it's on my phone now, so I just kind of was like, well, I'm not disappointed that this is here. And at the time, I didn't have a video uh, to upload there. So anyway, I hope you guys will go over there, you guys will subscribe, and, you know, yeah, there'll be some series there so that you guys can see. <laughs> um, but I made it, you know, I made it recognizable that it would be my second channel, so. I also used the second cover photo uh, that I made for the um the youtube banner and my also switch my uh character upside down <laughs> so um yeah um but i've been doing all right uh the reason why i'm putting in this intro in is because uh, in a couple of days i'm not gonna have power probably or well, actually i think i might not have power tomorrow i don't know pg and has been pretty bitchy about it so um yeah, there's going to be some power outage. I will be playing PUBG, but I'm going to be playing PUBG for approximately maybe two hours, which is which is equal to four matches if I survive at 30 minutes. Um, hope you guys aren't too pissed off that I put a little grind video in the front, but I feel like I haven't done one in a while, and I just kind of wanted to get... I didn't really know what else to put like as an intro into the video. So, yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> I notice you guys keep leaving comments, and comments are fucking amazing. Love you guys. I really do. Thank you. <laughs> I only have five minutes to record uh, to record this voiceover uh, because I'm using a different editing uh, software thing, which is actually pretty fucking good. But anyway, I'll leave a link to um, you know to uh, the secondary channel in the description. But you can always go check it out at my featured channels, which is go to channels. It's right before my about. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. See you in the guys in the video. 
Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to an episode of My Zombie Girlfriend. Unfortunately, I was not able to get that last 10 minutes of footage back. I did, but it was it had no audio, so there was no point in even putting it in, um, in the final editing. Um, but I didn't get the full 10 minutes, I only got maybe like 7, I think. I don't know, I ended up deleting it because there was no audio at all. I turned up my volume all the way, nothing. So, uh, I didn't upload it at all. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, I thought you guys would like another My Zombie Girlfriend episode. Not because I've probably been fucking doing random shit on my channel again. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, um, apparently we enrolled, uh, Jane into school. As said in my last video, I hope. I, I don't know, I don't watch my own videos. Um, but what was it? Uh, oh yeah, I remember what happened in that, um, few minutes. Uh, we had to walk the, uh, blonde lolly home. I completely forget her fucking name. <laughs> I don't know if she's a lolly. She might be an opie lolly for all I know. But anyway, we walked her home, had a nice little interaction, and it was actually a little depressing because I could tell that I broke her heart, and that really sucks, and, but, you know, gotta do what you gotta do when, when you're the HK. Anyway, so let's get back into the video, or let's get into the video. I, I was about to say, get, let's get back into the video, which I already did, but... Fuck my life, let's just start the video. I will play that game eventually, okay? I just don't want to play it right now. <laughs> I have a bunch of other series to work on. <clears throat> anyway. Jane! Come forth, undead lover. Lover. I said Louvier, <laughs> for some reason. I know, I know. Might I say you look dashing. Just give me a few more minutes. For what? We're going to be late for the first day of school. Oh, this is the first day of school. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Uh, is, it that, is that such a big deal? Are you being dead serious right now? This is some bullshit, okay? Can we just say that I've been dead for a few years? No, okay? No, no. I mentally facepalm. I do it in real life. It actually gave me a little bit of a headache. Only kidding. There better be some dead girl puns I can make in this goddamn game, otherwise I'm giving this game a two, only two stars. It wasn't that funny. You look very nice too, although you're not my wife. Though. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Jane is the only undead lover I'll ever have. Hopefully. <laughs> hey I groan and fall back on my sofa <sighs> normally I'd be out the door long before school started but no you have to you have to wait on women to get ready <laughs> am I right guys with girlfriends wait if you have a girlfriend why are you watching my video this is for single men only single men and women's only single men women and whatever the fuck other genders they have out there How could you? You, tr you betrayed us. No, I'm kidding. It's cool. My videos are meant for everybody. Anyone who can take jokes, basically. <laughs> the way things were looking right now, we'd be lucky to make it for lunchtime. Well, you are lunchtime to these zombie girls, so... Alex had been fine in getting ready, not even bothering to change the clothes she, kept, she slept in. Jane, on the other hand, had taken to raiding my wardrobe to find something that suits her. Why are you... Why? 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 I, I don't understand. <clears throat> so, ladies. Hmm. How's it going? Fine. There's just something else I'm not getting. Alex, she's been deathly quiet since she woke up. This game's gonna get more than two stars. Quiet as the grave. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, this is good. Okay, bit of an inappropriate joke. That's my whole channel. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, I even have fucking... I have hentai on my channel banner. That's a joke, too. <clears throat> Still, she's barely spoken. Why? Yesterday, I got the impression that she was shy. No, maybe she just doesn't like you. <laughs> Just not this shy. What to do? <sighs> Come 
kind of want to know more about Alex, but then again, I kind of don't, but you know what, to pass the fucking time, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to smack that fucking joke about Jane's sluggishness. No, I'm kidding. I chose the other option. God, you guys really can't read me at all, can you? <laughs> huh, that's not a bad idea. I know plenty about Jane, almost nothing about Alex. Hattie. Yeah? Tell me about yourself. This is like me talking to people on Facebook. <laughs> hey. Hi. What's up? Nothing. Ooh. What, what do you want to talk about? I don't know. You're you're a new person. Oh, tell me about yourself then. <laughs> she blinks at me as if I just asked her to strip off or something. No, that's not too much of a bad idea, but let's just say I prefer Jane to do that. Well, 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 why do you want to know? Not, not exactly anything interesting to be found there. One man's trash is another man's treasure. I mean, just look at Tweaker Horse. Okay, that was a bad joke. <laughs> I'm curious George, bitch. Tell me shit. Huh. I need that for the Smiles album. <clears throat> Go on, future Amber Fox. Take your screenshot. You're welcome, bro. You're the first person to ever ask about me. Okay. Really? Yeah. Didn't have a lot of guys or girls interested in me when I was alive. So you're bisexual then. Interesting. Interesting. No, I'm kidding. I can relate to that a little bit. She thinks for a moment. Well, I'm Alex. Oh my god. I never knew that. Dude, I didn't know her fucking name was Alex. God. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. I'm starting to wonder if Alex might have been a bit uh, slow mentally. So? Hmm, well, I was born to a well-off family. My parents loved me, but from a young age, they were trying to raise me to be something I wasn't. Serial killer? Murderer? Prostitute? Stripper? Anime girlfriend? Waifu? Well, no, you can't be raised to be a waifu. You can't do that. You're only a waifu if you're chosen to be a waifu. Or a husbando. I want to do sports or play video games, stuff like that. They wanted me to make take the reins when I got older. My dad runs this insurance company my mom worked for. They did well for themselves, but it just didn't interest me. They always pull me away from the stuff I love just to learn about it. Can't relate. I hated it. I hated it and kept resisting it at every turn. So they took away a bunch of stuff that I loved and tried me to force me into it. That sucks. Tell me about it. Well, no, you're, you're already telling me about it, so why would I tell you about something you're telling me about? So, henceforth, should I be telling you about what you're telling me about, but you don't want to be telling me about it? Or are you trying to keep something away that's that way you don't have to tell me about that? But I just fought it harder. Told them to get stuffed. How many dicks? Didn't, didn't do any good for our relationship. Eventually, they just gave up. Well, there's a line I can identify with strongly. Left me to my own devices. I can still relate. Mom got pregnant again and had another daughter. Then it started all over again. Did they try to raise her to take the job? Yeah. I tried to protect her as best I could. Did lots of sister activities with her. Do tell me more. Actually... For legal reasons, don't tell me more. I don't want to know more. I don't want to know more. I forgot. I forgot that that was a younger sister, so just chill out, okay? Calm the fuck down. She had a lot more fun with me than she did with our parents. But, what is it? These things have to come to an end, don't they? Damn, you hit me hard in them sibling feelings. What happened? Your parents, did they, uh, intervene? No. I got sick. Oh. 
Sick! Before I can interrogate her further, Jane emerges from the room. Is everything okay? Why are you sweating? <laughs> Why are your big, blue, beautiful blue eyes piercing my soul? <laughs> Fucking White Walker. I open my mouth to speak and promptly shut it. Jane was dressed normally, but there was something else catching my eye. So is it the way she's staring into your fucking soul? I mean, I need, this is this is going to be my lock screen for a while, so, so, uh, so, uh, don't mind me. <laughs> her hair. Is it the ribbon in her hair? Is it the way she styled her hair? Is it the way she cut her hair? Falling down the, to the small of her back. She catches my reaction and winks. Okay, now she's mad at me for some reason. What do you think, Amber Fox? I... Um... Okay. I think the cat's got his tongue. Are you saying a pussy has my tongue? Not as of right now. Perhaps later on. <laughs> the two of them laugh. I can't turn my head away from their their radiant beauty. My face flares up as Jane comes closer to me. There's so many anime smiles from zombie girls, I love this game. Go ahead, future Emma Fox. You're welcome, my dude. She gently pats my cheek, laughing. <laughs> Anyway, everything all right? <laughs> You're making a very disturbing face right now. <laughs> she's like, she's like, la she's like smiling, but she's like staring into my soul with her wi eyes wide open. She's got her mouth open. She's like, just yeah. <laughs> like, look at, I mean, look at that. <laughs> I don't mean to like stall the video or anything here, but holy, sh I don't know what, I don't know how to react to this face. <laughs> Yeah, everything's fine. Are are you okay? <laughs> you look, you look very nice, very nice. I quickly turn my head away and grab my coat, trying to avoid showing my burning face and desire for Jane. This only makes them laugh even harder. Yeah, it's okay. I was laughed at by a lot of girls too. Don't worry about it, bro. Mainly growing up, but not so much when I got in high school. Oh, Ember Fox. Says, no girl ever. I should style my hair like this more often. If you want. Who am I to tell you how to dress? Especially if I'm going to get a reaction like that. D don't you inspire fucking Alex to do that shit, okay? Calm down. <laughs> mm, what's this? I know what three ends mean, but what is four? Never nutting November... <laughs> Never nutting November. No, no nut November. Never no nut November. I don't know what that means. We leave the apartment. The two girls laughing all the way. Ho 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 ho. Fuck that. Get the fuck out of here with that faggot shit. Fucking Christmas ass loving motherfuckers. Fuck you. Anyway, finally on our way, we walk as swiftly as our legs will carry us. Didn't realize legs carried people, but okay. I didn't realize legs had arms to carry pieces of people's bodies. There's still time to make it to the school before the first bell. If we hurry, that is. But our journey isn't made any easier by the two giggling schoolgirls behind me. Why aren't they in front of you? you? You'll get so much of a better picture that way. Did you see his reaction? You guys want me to go kill myself? I mean, I will. I'm not sure if I'll come back, though, because the devil kind of already wants my soul. Yeah. <laughs> All red and everything. Yeah, I got something else that's red at the fucking face, if you want to fucking shut the shut up. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. They laugh, they lull, and I just bury my face deeper in my coat. Why, are you, why aren't they wearing a coat? What the fuck, genius? Are you gonna make these poor, sweet, laughing anime girls freeze their titties off just because you didn't want to fucking draw them little coats on their shoulders? I mean, come on. Show some f fucking kindness. 
Come on, Emmer Fox. Don't you want to admit it? Admit what, woman? I'll spare you from er further embarrassment if you do. I don't think you can because my existence is just an embarrassment to me. Damn it. How to deal with these two? Please don't give me a My Dragon Girlfriend option here. Say what I want or keep silent. Ooh. This could turn <laughs> volatile. Tell them the truth, because why not? All right, 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 all right. You got me. I have lolly porn on my heart, Jack. Oh, I'm kidding. I, I don't. I like your hair like that, okay? Calm the fuck down. Enjoy yourself. I'm glad you're happy. Oh, Amber Fox, you're so... I'm the fucking Sour Patch Kid of comedy, all right? Shut the fuck up. I see how much better it is to reveal the truth. Oh, see how much better it is to reveal the truth rather than keeping things to yourself? I always keep things to myself because I don't have anything to share with anybody <laughs> other than my videos. Yeah, 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 shut the fuck up, goddammit, and just like your victory, alright? Chill out. You guys would have kept at it otherwise. Mm, true. I start laughing again, and I sigh to myself. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have resurrected them after all. <laughs> Hashtag, just necromancer things. Not that I mean that, of course. Oh, that would have made an interesting uh, story, but... So, Ember Fox. Yes! Hmm. Why do you like her hair like that? Oh my fucking god. Can we just get to the fucking school already? I don't care if it fucking skips the time there now. Is it something that turns you on with girls? Are you asking me if I like twin tails or just long hair? Because either way, I, I don't fucking care. <laughs> N no! Jeez, what a what a thing to ask out of the blue hair and blue eyes. <laughs> it wasn't the hair that turned me on. What was it? I feel like Hannibal Lecter here asking, what was it? At least, not that much. It's... God, what is it? I don't know, I just always hung out with Jane when we were when we were kids, and I always had such a boner for Jane, apparently, I guess. I don't fucking know. She never had her hair like that, ever. Uh, and so one day, she showed up at school with that exact style. It blew me away completely. It's, it's like I was standing in Kansas, and I just got blown away by tornadoes. Aw, how cute. Fuck off. Jane grins from ear to ear. Well, she's gonna get a Chelsea grin if she doesn't watch the fuck out. Not for me, but... Probably some, for, from some fucking villain that they're gonna come up with soon. Our walk continues. I check the time on my phone. Oh, no. It is 8.57 p.m., is it not? Yes, it is. <laughs> Despite the delay this morning, we were making decent progress. We might make it on time, after all. I personally didn't really care when I showed up at school. <laughs> so, oh, what now? What's up? What kind of courses can we take here? A lot. Huh, that was a good question. It's pretty decent. You've got your general subjects. Math, Japanese, English, gym. Yeah, see, we don't call it English here in America. We call it literature or English arts or whatever, or uh, English literature or just literature or creative writing. But all's forgiven. Then you got some more of the specialist ones: creative writing, arts and crafts, computers, shit like that. Specialist? I didn't realize they were, they had computer specialist classes because my high school didn't. They had, like, a computer lab thing, but, like, it was so fucking boring, and, like, they didn't really even teach you anything. <laughs> they just told you how to use Microsoft Word, and that was it. Huh, sounds pretty cool. Well, I'm fucking glad you like it so much. I'm just annoyed we have to go to school in the first place. 
Well, I can't keep two rotting dead girls in my fucking house forever. All right, jeez. Maggots eating at your brain already, man. Just because Mary saw us doesn't mean we need to go. I mean, it'd be better for me if I wasn't harboring two girls who were dodging school. Okay, I can I can see where he's coming from here. I I guess, but still, I could just be doing better things with my time. Like what? Y you're dead. <laughs> What could you possibly be doing besides sitting in a box all day, and then sitting in my house, which is just a bigger box? E either way, you're stuck in a box. <laughs> Come on, it'll only be for a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, just devote your- just devote, like, maybe almost 17 years of your life to school. Maybe even 20, if you're lucky. Jane pounced at that. Well, what lessons do you think we should go for? <clears throat> I advise you to stay away from the third floor bathroom. There's reasons. Whole reasons. Yeah, I'm not sure what to pick myself. I don't fucking know. Maybe you could get us all in the same class together? Now, why the fuck would I want to do that? Shit happens when you put this fucking character girls... With fucking the ma the MC, all right. D I feel like they're these are they're trying to make this an optional anime show, <laughs> like, like it's just like you can play through your own fucking anime story. It's like that one anime that I forget the fucking name of. I haven't watched it in like a year. That was a good point. Yeah, but why would I want you guys in my exact same class? I mean, I have to see you guys when I get home. You know. I mean, I'm not trying to be an asshole here, but I'm, I don't mind having a couple of classes, but I don't want to make sure all of them are the same. That's a little, it's a little weird. I'm not gonna lie here. Just, just, a, just, a, just, a, just a snid bit. Still, so, would they want to study what I'm studying? No. What to tell them? Oh, give me more choices, baby. Come on. <laughs> you should study advanced mathematics because those will come in handy so much in your life. Especially if you plan on doing a whole ton of, a whole lot of art. Yeah, math's real fucking helpful with art. Kind of is. So, not, not often though. You should study creative writing. I, personally, I was a creative writing student and actually did pretty well in that fucking class until I stopped going to it. How about creative writing? It's an interesting subject and the teacher is good and the class is real helpful. How helpful could they possibly be? Huh, sounds like that's up my street. I'm glad it's up your ass. No, er, no thanks. Oh, I didn't realize you weren't a writer, okay? What the fuck do you want from me, Jane, besides my love and life? Why not? Never been much of a writer. I don't think I'd fit in. Says Said every writer ever. Oh, come on, it'll be great fun. Sorry, Alex, it isn't for me. Well, then you choose another class. <laughs> there must be a solution for everyone. I'll need to think about it. The conf conversation between uh, us turns into mindless chitter-chatter until eventually we arrive at the school gates. Ah, the gates of hell open for me once more. Only in a virtual world. Wow. The massive school complex invites students thirsting for knowledge. Yeah, but if that was me, I'd jump from that roof so fucking fast, I'd be like Sanic running up those goddamn stairs just so I can jump off and be like, Guess what, bitches? I'm gonna become a zombie! Fuck you all! And then Resident Evil starts. <laughs> the courtyard is filled with a mass of teens heading to their next class. Wow. Is this like what you guys want to do in your high school years? If it is, I can understand. I mean, I'd love to have two undead girlfriends. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. I don't know why they didn't give you three, but maybe the maybe the lolly is just dead inside. I, I don't know. I guide the two girls over to the registration offices. The secretary, an old bat who looks like she belongs in the ground, haha, -ha, glares at the two girls. M. Fox, you are aware it's legal to bring escorts onto the property. You did not just call these two lovely young ladies. Whores, did you? They are not whores. I haven't broken their minds yet, alright? Chill. I snarl at her. 
They're not escorts. They're here to register for the school. More like more late arrivals mean more paperwork for me. It's your fucking job. Do your fucking job, asswipe. Just do your job. <laughs> Watch your tone with me, young man. Bitch, fuck you. Okay? Fuck you. Don't be a bitch. Okay, you call them whores. I'm gonna treat I'm gonna be fucking nasty with you, alright? Fucking Jane is not a whore. And Alex, well, I don't know that much about Alex, but I doubt she's a whore. Don't worry, Alex, I got you. The wife of White Knight's here. Yeah, yeah. She grabs a pair of forms and slides them over. Fill these out. Come on, hurry up. Class starts in a few minutes. Ah. Uh. You should have been here much, much earlier to sort this mess out. I see the Ember Fox still acts before thinking. Actually, I'm very calculative when I need to be. I bite my tongue, resisting the urge to shout at this nasty old bitch. A few minutes of unnecessary, bio unnecessary bureaucracy. Unnecessary bureaucracy. Fuck. That it just... It just tongue-tied me for a minute. And sh and she stamps a seal of approval on the documents. You don't even look at them? All right, all done. Now get to class, you lot. Okay. Finally. I grab Alex and Jane and pull them into a nearby hallway searching for the classroom. She seems lovely. Are you on drugs, Alex? Lovely. I'm gonna stick my sh shoe so far up her ass. I was being sarcastic. You might be asking what I'm doing, I'm just blowing a piece of dust off my screen. There's a two bicker in here. I glide them up I oh I guide them up a flight of stairs and they glide. How do you glide up a up a fucking flight of stairs? Fucking Aladdin. Where to go? Oh where to go? This looks like that one place in PUBG. Rut row raggy. I turn around, jogging over is a hulking, muscular guy. Please tell me I can fight this guy. Hello, Hank. Emberfox, I was just getting worried about you. Why would you be worried? Of course, you dodged me all over all day the other day. Mary too. Oh, right. Sorry about that. I was a bit busy. Busy, huh? He looks behind me, staring at Jane and Alex. My, my, you're a lucky guy. Who might these lovely ladies be? M under my protection, that's where they be. The correct answer would be s sisters copying the lie I told Mary. But there's a problem with that. If I succeed in my romantic con conquest with Jane, and just so happen to lo be locking lips with her one day... Oh, it would make quite a zesty hentai manga. It would be beautiful as long as it wasn't censored. I'm not saying, like, I'm a huge fan of incest mangas or anything. I'm just saying there are a couple of good ones out there. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I'm not, I'm not saying, like, oh, the incest is the best category. No. That would clearly be fucking tomboys. All right. That's, that's like, one of the best categories. All right. Just, just, just think about it. I mean, unless you're in the futas, then then I guess that could be a really great category, but that's that's not my thing. Or unless you're into harem uh, mangas, and those are actually pretty interesting, because <laughs> it's kind of an all-around fuck fest on damn near every page. So, well, if Hank caught us, it wouldn't end well in the slightest. No, it would not. Now I have to drink some water because I'm a thirsty trash weeb. No, I need something else. I need, and quickly. I need to think of something else. What to say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gave me the greatest option. Uh, how can I resist it? Oh, God, this is, this is the best fucking... Oh, my God, this is going to piss them off, but this is the best option I have seen in a fucking game where you get to make your own choices. So, of course, I'm going to fucking pick it. <laughs> 
I'm gonna so die for this, but it's worth it. At least I hope I get choked out by some anime girl thighs. But that's just me. Hank, this is Jane and Alex. They're all they're uh, per the members of my personal harem, and I don't get to continue. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm face down the floor with Alex's boot pushing that on my head. <laughs> oh, I get it. Because I'm degenerate filth and I must be put in my place. I, I understand. But I'm not into that. Ah! I suggest apologizing. It was, it was just a joke. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> right now. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, calm down. Hank, these lovely ladies are my friends. And you're their bitch, apparently. Well, I think the best route is to always be the woman's bitch until you can bed her, and then turn her into your bitch. I mean, that is the hentai MC way, is it not? Not cool, Hank. I don't know who you are, but you're kind of a bitch, too. Alex gets off me and lets me stand up. I rub aching. I rub my aching head. Which one? Bad choice. <laughs> so you you guys are friends with, with Ember Fox, a stupid fucking degenerate piece of trash? That's right. <laughs> I get what you are. You've been hanging out with Ember Fox. He's a pretty cool dude. Me, I'm like Emberfox multiplied to the max. Okay, first of all, if you were, your name wouldn't be fucking Hank, alright? <laughs> Just saying. Not to diss any Hanks out there, but come on. I can't I can't look at Hank without thinking of fucking Hank Hill, alright? If I could do a Hank Hill impression, I totally would. Just know. I will work on it from this day out. I'm stronger, faster, and, and smarter. Oh, God, this guy's such a fucking retard. Emberfox, I can't believe you've been hiding these beauties away from me. Yeah, well, I kept them kind of in the casket, I mean the closet for the few years. I thought we were pals. When it comes to waifus, there is no kinship. Unless they, f unless they are... Well, <laughs> unless they enjoy the same wife. We completely are. Here's the thing, though. I know Hank's reputation. Do clue me in. He's kind of go. He's the kind of guy who goes through girls like people go through toilet paper. What is toilet paper? <laughs> I'm kidding. That's kind of weird, though. <laughs> apparently, that's apparently that's me with uh, waifus I don't choose. So, he uses them and then throws them away. Oh, so basically the villain in every hentai. Got it. So basically, the trash of the earth that nobody would care was killed. I got it. Oh, sorry, I had to. I really had to sniff there. Even if I hadn't just resurrected Jane and Alex, I'd still have hidden them away from Hank. <laughs> Boy, would you have dug them up? <laughs> I need quite, I need answers here. Too late for that now. So, Jane. <sighs> Don't. Come on. Let's not do this right now, okay, Hank? <laughs> Let's not do this. I'm Alex. Oh, okay. I don't have to stab you after all. Alex, <laughs> my bad. Such a lovely name. Not really, it's kind of a guy's name, but, you know, whatever. Thanks. Hey, did it hurt? I'm not hurt, I'm fine. No, you're supposed to say, did what hurt? Are you gonna say when she crawled out of hell or when she fell from heaven? Because crawled out of hell is more like it, but, you know. Why would I say that? I'm not injured. No, but you are dead. Mm, okay, let's try something else. <laughs> hey, beautiful. I could get lost in your eyes. Are you seriously trying, like, the worst pickup lines ever? When it comes to women, don't use pickup lines, man. I mean, come on. That's like... That just sends up red, red flags that you're desperate. 
Do you want a map? I remember that from a meet and fuck game forever that I played forever ago. I nearly collapsed in a fit of laughter. Of course, Womanizer Hank had to pick the one girl on the planet he couldn't flirt with. He can't, but your boy can. The question is, will I? Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, <coughs> uh okay. Uh, so, uh, you like movies? Sure. <laughs> great, great. We're making progress. Are we? He reaches out to touch her arm. Alex freeze, freezes, her face going pale. For a second, I think to that scene in my apartment, trying to throw off a ravenous Jane. Oh no. I open my mouth to warn Hank to step away, only for Alex to grab a hold of me. <clears throat> huh? What, what's going on here? Alex gives Hank a burning look, and Hank steps off. Oh, oh sorry. You, you need to just tell me next time. Tell her. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, but no. Hammer Fox, you, you can tell me you're dating this girl, you know. He winks at me. I glare at him, formulating my response. Should I meet his challenge or just say nothing? And if I confirm it, what would Alex think? Um. That's actually a good question. Um. Uh, which one should I choose? <laughs> Um, what would Jane think? Now that's the question that you should be asking yourself. Wait, what do I do? <sighs> if I do nothing, he's just going to keep hitting on her. And it's not like I, I would like want to romance her or anything, but like I can tell she doesn't want to be with him, so... I'm not trying to be a nice guy here or anything, but I can, you know, if a girl, you know, says, hey, you're my boyfriend just to get away from a guy, you, by all means, you fucking accept it, all right? Because clearly, she doesn't like the guy, all right? Just, you know, it's, it's common courtesy, I guess. And it's like you should always walk a girl home, you know? Unless she doesn't like you, then don't offer, because then that's kind of creepy and you'll probably get arrested. <sighs> Actually, I am her boyfriend. Do nothing. I, I barely know Alex, alright? But I got a fucking cover for her. <sighs> I can't believe I'm spending my fucking rubies on this. Well, only thing, one thing for it now. <laughs> well, let's just turn into a fucking Shota or an ugly bastard and drop some fucking... <laughs> drop some hate on uh, the Japanese for this shit. Well, actually, Hank, I am her boyfriend. Uh, I'm gonna get my ass whooped by Jane and making the wrong choices for the right reasons. I shoot him a cheeky grin to let him know I was messing around. Wow. I'd be honored, honest, Emma Fox. I didn't know you had it in you. But congratulations on the girl. Wait, wait, he actually believes me? How fucking retarded is this guy? I thought he was smarter. -er. How about you, beautiful? What do you think of the Hank? The, the fucking Hank? More like that dick be stank. He turns his charm on Jane now, but before I protest, something grabs my hands. Oh shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get butt raped. Alright, I got it. I'm pulled away from the two instead of taking off to the side behind a set of lockers. Hey, what do you think you're do- I, I cut off, I'm cut off by Alex, Alex pushing a finger to my lips. I'm not, I'm not into that, all right? You can just put your you can just put your lady dick away, all right? You said you're my boyfriend. To save your ass. Literally, there is no other reason. Yeah, you're kind of a attractive, I guess, but like I'm not I'm not I'm not into you. You're cool and I'll probably choose you on my second playthrough if I ever decide to make a second playthrough, but I don't know. Mm. Alex moves her finger away so I can speak. A finger was making you go oomph. Okay. Is this true? What? No. Oh. <laughs> oh no, I just, I just dashed her hopes and dreams, didn't I? 
She looks downcast, her cute face scrunching up. No, don't. You're not gonna make me like Alex that much, alright? I mean, come on. I've already chosen my waifu for this game, alright? And I'm going to the end. And I apologize, I didn't mean to misread the situation. She turns away, she turns to walk away, but I mentally slap myself. Yeah, I would have done that too. Damn it. Hey, wait! I grab her arm. To my surprise, she doesn't pull away. Oh no, we're gonna get into the dramatic moment. Unlike with Hank, she seems welcome to my touch. Well, you are a necromancer. You did bring the dead girl back from the back. You used your dead thrall spell on her, and, and womany dingity, she's back here. Yes? I didn't... I mean... What is it? Sorry. I was just trying to get Hank off my back. You know, what you should have said is I was trying to get Hank off of your back. Because that makes more sense. I shouldn't have dragged you into it. Okay. I just ended up confusing you. But she's the one who insinuated. <laughs> it's okay. Great, I'm apologizing for something I didn't do, but I didn't mean to do or whatever. He didn't mean any harm. Yeah, it wasn't fair for me to say that I was your boyfriend's. At least you're not Panini, that's all I'm saying. At least, not before taking you on a date. No. No, 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 no. This is not where I wanted it to go. No, 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 Batman, no. Huh? You know, a date? You haven't been dead that fucking long, have you? She probably has. I know, but... Nobody's ever asked me on a date. Well, I don't want to, but apparently I'm being forced to go on a, on a date. Yeah. <sighs> this is not what I wanted at all. You know what? I'm not going to be a nice guy anymore in these fucking games. Because it leads to this shit. I hesitate. I wasn't, I wasn't exactly asking on an Alex on a date. But then again, you weren't exactly not asking her either. But her face is lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh, no. <laughs> you had to bring it up, didn't you? No, you had to bring it up, you fucking idiot. Okay. A genuine smile spreads across it, and her cheeks give off a faint glow. Go on, take your screenshot of future Emma Fox. I know you want it. <sighs> For whatever reason, she seems like she really wants to go on a date with me. She can't imagine why. It's not like this game's not called my zombie girlfriend or anything, but, you know, hey, whatever. Wouldn't really be that bad. Just one date, right? Just one hit from a meth pipe is all it takes to get you addicted. No, I'm kidding. Well, I'm not kidding. But... <laughs> Just one date wouldn't be that bad, right? Sure. I'll take you on one. Want to go anywhere in particular? Like, Zach Donald's? Because they already used Whack Donald's and pretty much like... <laughs> Every fucking anime that has McDonald's in it. She shakes her head. It surprised me. Okay, I'll have to abduct a few people. You got it. Great. Now I'm going now I'm going on a fucking date that I don't really want to go on. Damn it, character, why are you the nice guy? <laughs> we return to the group where Hank has clearly been trying to flirt with Jane. By look on his face, it hasn't been very successful. I consider making fun of him only for the bell to ring. Well, time for class. <laughs> See you beauties later. He winks and walks off. And with that all said and done, I walk towards the class, completely forgetting that I just left Jane at the mercy of a man who goes through women. Like, an MC goes through weird situations in hentai. I take one final look at the girls behind me heading off to, into a different classroom. Huh? Yeah, she doesn't look too happy, does she? No, she doesn't look happy. Jane and Alex, they're looking kind of pale. I swear, if you're having that one 
that one Alex moment from fucking Madagascar where you th- where the fu- they think Marty the fucking zebra is like a fucking a steak or a slice of steak or whatever. Don't you fucking do that to me, all right? My zombie girlfriends. To be continued. It's just to be continued. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're gonna keep con- we're gonna keep going. After all, I didn't get all these fucking coupons for nothing. Ugh, my nose hurts. My time traveling girlfriend. The merciful sound of the bell brought an end to the boring ass lecture. All right, class, that's it for now. Remember to study pages 29 and 30. Yeah, no thanks. I flee my seat as quickly as possible, retreating into the hallway. A huge tide of students meanders towards the cafeteria. I struggle to avoid getting caught up in it, clinging to the walls as I let them push past. I don't know what the rush is. The food is pure garbage. That's like the best food, though. I slip in between the gaps of students making my way to the lockers. As boring as the lectures had been, it was a real shame not having Jane and Alex around. If they had been in my class, the very I could at the very least have goofed off with them. The fuck kind of shit are you planning? But no, I instead had algebra drilled into my head without any respite. Or respite. I call it respite. but That's just, that's just how we can, Californians say it. It's respite. At least it's over. Yeah, I had to do fucking pre-algebra in my last year of high school before I dropped out. It was fucking stupid. Like, I did Algebra 1 and Algebra 2, but they wanted me to go back and do pre-algebra. It's like... Why? I learned pre-algebra in fucking 7th grade. I finally make it through to the throng of students arriving at my locker. I dial open the code and swing my door open, dumping in my heavy books and pulling out the 35 terabytes of lolly porn. My back breathes a sigh of relief, whereas my dick groans in anguish. I'm kidding. Honestly, it should be illegal to make us carry that much crap. Bitch, shut the fuck up, alright? My backpack was actually really fucking heavy for quite a few years, alright? I feel your pain, but shut the fuck up, alright? It helps your back muscles just slightly. You carry around... You carry around crap? I close the door. Alex is leaning against the lockers, giving me an odd look. That's that's just her face. No, it's an expression. No, it's her face, dumbass. Oh. Come on, you haven't been dead that long, have you? That's like she died in 1823 <laughs> or something. <laughs> I don't fucking know. She probably could have died like in the 1930s, and we just wouldn't know that until now. Yeah, well, I, I don't do great with people. Hey, you don't say. Me neither. I've noticed. Hey, you asshole. Hey, come on, I'm only I'm only teasing you. Just chill out, all right? It's still kind of mean. Gotta get that smile. Go ahead, future Ember Fox. We're getting we're getting every fucking smile we come across in this goddamn game. You'll learn to love it. We stay in silence for a few minutes, waiting for the con- congestion of students to move along. Alex looks around awkwardly, shyly gripping her arm. Shouldn't leave the conversation like this. Bless the poor girl. Oh, bless your heart. Basically the kindest way of saying, fuck you. What to say to her? How'd your lessons go? How are your lessons? And eh, not great. Why not? Being dead for a few years. What, did it leave you brain dead? Well, you miss out on a lot of learning. Okay, I know. I don't understand half the things they were talking about. <sighs> it was a real pain. So I take you're not enjoying school? Not really, no. Hey, if it makes you feel any better, I, I honestly felt sick to my stomach every time I went to school, so... I feel your pain. But the worst part of all is this is, of this is the class. I feel a pang of guilt. Why this time? For a moment, I'm worrying about what happened in class. Were those stu- were those shits bullying Alex? 
Finally, we get to say shits. Oh yeah, those little shits. They're so annoying and loud. That was, that was somewhat better. I don't know how to handle them. You eat them. <laughs> I can't concentrate on my work in class. No one's bothering me or telling me stupid jokes I don't get. I'm kind of fed up with it. You know they're just trying to be friends with you, right? Yeah, but... I mean, I'm not good at that sort of thing. Okay. Try getting sheltered by your parents for years. See what that does to your social skills. Can't relate. I sheltered myself. I sigh. Alex is clearly bothered by all of this. Question is, what can I do to help her out? Say. Hmm. You're pretty good with the friends thing, right? In real life or virtual? Because, uh, it's the same question all around. No, not really. <laughs> You're popular, you know what to say, and how to make people laugh. Not really. I mean, kind of. Well, no. I don't know, I don't really know what to say half the time, I just say whatever's in my head. And I do my best to make people laugh because that's what, that's what motivates me to make more videos, is people enjoying what I do. But I don't think I'm good at it. I wouldn't, so go, I wouldn't go as far as to call myself popular. Alright, alright, you're a cool nerd then, jeez. That's more like it. <laughs> hey! You know, that attitude of yours is probably why you're not making any friends. Don't bully her like that. <laughs> Alex is precious, even though she's not my waifu. Your attitude is the only reason why you're hanging out with a couple of dead chicks. I wish you were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look, just give me a few pointers. Please? Fine. What? I don't want to be the awkward kid in the back of the class that nobody likes. Oh, so you don't want to be me? Okay. Teach me to be a cool nerd? <sighs> Very well, I'll get out my anime Bible. <sighs> yep, okay. It says right here. First, you have to watch Boku no Pico, the whole thing, and even the movie. Um, you have to watch. Um, you have to watch Corpse Princess, also known as uh, Shikibana Hime. You have to watch uh, Is This a Zombie? Kori wa Zombie, Zombie Desuka, or it's Desuka. And uh, you gotta watch. Um, you gotta watch Pokemon Origins, the good Pokemon. You have to watch the Sekirei series, even Pure Engagement, which is the second season. And you have to watch Rin, Daughters of Minosami, or whatever. You have to watch RE0 Starring Life in Another World, which is season 2 is coming out. Very excited about that. Then you have to watch Xenosaga, which is a really good fucking anime. Uh, let's see. You, you should also watch uh, Naruto, just so that we get most of the uh, shitty Naruto memes that are on the internet. Uh, Dance in the Vampire Bun's pretty good, though it, it left a lot of questions. The manga's really pretty good. Uh, my girlfriend is a show bitch is pretty good. It's kind of funny. Is it wrong to pick, try to pick up girls in a dungeon? That's a really good series, actually, even though it is a little bit generic. Uh, let's see here. Um, Shimonetsa is actually really good. I, I found it funny. Uh, Cat Planet Cuties is pretty good, too. Um, let's see. Well, it's another one here. Um... Uh -huh, let me see. Oh, uh, one of Mode's eight. No, that's not really that good. Um, Yamada Kuyo's Seven Witches is not that bad. It's pretty decent. Um, Mon Mon Musa is pretty good, or Monster Masume. Um, Showman Sample. I haven't watched it yet. I'm going to. High School DD or D and D or DXD is pretty good. Um, I think I think it's D and D because. Um, Rias Grimmery has some pretty big double Ds, luscious double Ds, I should say. Uh, Death March to the Parallel World Rhapsody is not that bad. Three by Three Eyes is a little weird, though. Let's see, what, what's another one I have? I can, uh, oh, Blood Plus is, is pretty good. Uh, I think it might be Blood, Blood and or something. I don't know. Devil May Cry anime is pretty good. Devil May Cry Baby is also really good. Um, so is Elfin Lied. That's, that's, uh, that's a good one. Ghost in the Shell's alright, for the most part. I don't, I'm not really a huge fan of it, but it's pretty cool. 
High School of the Dead. Now that's something you need to watch. That that shit's good. It's it's good. It's just really good. Um, Prison School. It's uncensored version is pretty fucking lit. I, I have it on DVD now. Thanks to uh, thanks to me, I guess. Um, Shiguri Death Frenzy is not that bad. Uh, neither Shattered Angels. Tokyo Ghouls. Anime kind of sucks. Um, Love Tyrant's pretty decent. Uh, haven't read the manga, but I'm going to pretty soon. Uh, Chivalry of a Failed Knight. Haven't watched that one either. Um, Kurozuka, Kurozuka is pretty good. Um, Mysterious Girlfriend. Nazo Ikanyo is pretty good. Oh, I'm recording a video. Oh, okay. Ah, she looks up at me with her massive eyes, and I feel like I'm melting. Why is she? Is she? Does she have fucking heat vision? Ah, what to do? Give her social tips. I mean, this is only happening because I'm fucking nice. God damn it! Ah, I couldn't resist that look. Damn it! She was leaving me with no choice in the matter. All right, let's see what we can do for you. Don't you dare take her back into the AV room and bang her fucking undead eyes out, all right? Because next thing you know, one of her tits might fall off or something. Maybe the maggots will crawl out of her vagina or something. I don't let her know. Her eyes brighten even more, and she hugs me tightly. Thank you, Ember Fox. Yeah, yeah, just get the fuck off me. You had, the, you had the audacity to crush my face under a boot, and now you're asking me for help? I really am turning into a fucking anime... Let me see. I wait until the last few students mailing about that have cleared away uh, before escorting her into an empty classroom. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't you can't do this to me, game. This is not supposed to be a hentai game. All right, then. You want to be cool? Strip. No, I'm kidding. Don't. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe a bit cooler than you. Impossible. Scientifically impossible. Sorry. It's okay, everyone's cooler than me. You know what? It's fine. People like sassiness. Keep that up, and you've, that's already a few points you got in your favor. Cool, what else? Um, let me think. Yeah. Oh! Ah! Oh! Okay. Need to be more laid back with things. Smoke a couple of blunts. Kind of cool. I'm not saying smoking weed is cool. I'm saying... You gotta be that chill, you gotta be that calm, you gotta be that collected. Huh? More laid back? Yes, not... Not, like, dead laid back, more like... Chilling corpse kind of laid back. Yeah, right now you're just overly concerned about everything, including your, including your fucking classmates. You need to learn to chill and uh, just a little bit and, and to relax and, and take things a bit easier. Like this dick! No, I'm kidding. Like, if, they if they're trying to tell you jokes, uh, laugh along with them. Even if they're funny. Especially if they're funny. I know it says it's not funny, but I don't... They're never funny. What do I have to do to make you fucking laugh, woman? Besides, besides just embarrass my existence. Yeah, I know, I know. But the trick is to pretend they're funny. Laugh when they tell their jokes. Don't be like Azula, alright? Her laugh was the laughter of pain and suffering and awkwardness and social awkwardness. They'll tell you, they'll do the same thing when you tell jokes. My guys, this game's telling us how society truly is. But I don't know any jokes. Goodness me, you're difficult to work with. Alright, let's try something. I swear to God, if she, if she even starts to get undressed, dude, we're going to have some problems, all right? Um, yes. Okay. Knock or knock her. I mean, knock, knock. Yes. <laughs> it's so adorably stupid. <laughs> no, you, you see, that's not how a knock, knock joke works. You're, you need to reply with who's there. That's stupid. You're stupid. That's like the best joke ever. I know, I know. But that's how these things work. So let's try again. Knock, knock. 
Who's there? Cows go. Nice to meet you, Cows go. Are you serious? Mmm. <laughs> it's proving to be more difficult than I thought. This woman's sense of humor is quite dead. Just like her. Alright, let's try this again. About 20 minutes later, Al and Alex is finally getting the hang of it. Hope she doesn't use this joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cows go. Cows go who? No, cows go moo. <laughs> Alex slaps her knee and falls to the floor in hysterics. Al Alex, are, are, are you okay? <laughs> Her mad laughter echoes throughout the empty classroom as she struggles to stand up. I would do a crazy and dairy laugh, but that's, that, I'm not a woman, so otherwise I would. Oh my god, cows go moo. Breaking news! Zombie girl discovers humor! That's so funny. In a few minutes of this, she finally stands up. <laughs> good, good. Really? Yeah, it's not bad at all. Although you were overdoing the laughter quite a bit. Dial it back uh, a few numbers. Alright, cool. What else is there to learn? Hmm. I guess just be yourself, because that's hilarious. I mean, you're a pretty likable person as you are. I mean, she's, she's cool, I guess. Huh, thanks. Say, Alex. Yeah. Why do you even care about being cool? You know that shit's not important, right? Alex just shrugs. I don't know, I had such a weird upbringing, I guess. I just wanted things to be normal for a little bit. I want to be able to fit in, just like the others. I hate being so awkward and socially inept. Hey, so do half of my viewers. Not to call you guys out or anything, I'm just ma I'm just making comparisons. Don't worry, I'm awkward and socially inept as well. Well, not socially inept. I, I can be social, I just don't like to very often. You know, that's why a lot of people would like you. Because of how different you are. It sets you apart from most others. I mean, you were people were trying to talk to you in class, right? Yeah. Well, there you go, then. Her cheeks are red. Her cheeks redden, and she gives me a genuine smile. I need this one for the hentai that I'm totally not going to draw myself. Thanks. Any Anytime. My stomach growls and Alex laughs, knowing that she's going to eat my entrails probably by the end of the series. <laughs> Come on, let's go get something to eat. I'm starving. It'll probably This is probably going to end like the last sit, like the last stand, Union City. My girlfriend's going to end up fucking eating me. We return to the hallway and continue our way towards the cafeteria. Where, where's Jane? <laughs> How's Jane? Is Jane okay? <laughs> Where is Jane? I don't care about Alex that much. I want Jane. Where's Jane? Jane, come back. Jane, I'm, del I'm a delicious slab of beef. Sla I'm a nice, juicy bit of sausage. Is the food here any good? Not really, no. Better than starving to death, though. <laughs> Not by much. We enter the cafeteria. The line isn't too long now, but most of the students are seated at the tables. Today's helpings are sloppy joes, better than usual. Okay, so people need to stop shitting on Sloppy Joes, alright? Sloppy Joes are fucking good, if they're made right. Hopefully they'd be serving meat that was free of lunch lady chin hairs. What? Say, Ember Fox? What is it? Is that Hank and Jane? Oh, I get what's going on here now. That's why we haven't seen Jane. Interesting. My heart sinks. I look. I turn to look where she's pointing. Sure enough, Hank and Jane are sharing a table. Yep, she's she's trying to make our character jealous. And let me tell you, it's working just a little bit. <laughs> there's not exactly there's there's not a, exactly a lot of distance between them either. Can't make out what they're saying, but they're both smiling and laughing. Oh, man. Hank, Hank, Hank. You made the wrong decision, my friend. And now I have to I have to bring my old friend into this. Don't worry, she's delicate. She'll just she'll just cut such joy into your life. 
Well, maybe not yours, but she'll she'll cut some into mine. <laughs> right, let's keep playing the game. I sigh and try to look away, but my heart breaks into millions of little pieces. Alex spots my face and raises an eyebrow. You okay, Mr. Fox? No, I'm just dealing with crushing uh, stupidity and heartbreak, and because I had to be the nice guy, so now I'm paying for it. These games really don't want you to be the nice guy. They really don't. You have to, you have to pay to be the nice guy. And when you choose to be the nice guy, the game's like, well, guess what? This is what you get for being a nice guy. So yeah, me being a decent fucking human being is not allowed in these games. So I'm gonna, I gotta keep that in mind, especially for my dragon girlfriend. I have to be a real alpha male piece of shit who doesn't treat women properly. But you know, hey, I'm not like an incel or anything. But fucking, I actually am a pretty nice dude most of the time. And by nice, I mean I'm actually. Every time I see kittens, my heart melts because I love kittens. I mean, how can you look at kittens and hate them? They're, they're just. They're little two beans. <clears throat> anyway. You're not jealous, are you? Oh, I'm seething with jealousy. I mean, I have my knife unfolded here on the table. The one that I carry into town with me a bunch, and I almost had to stab someone with uh, a couple years ago. Yeah, that, that same knife. Yeah, don't worry. I'll close her, though. What to tell her? Should I be honest about my jealousy? What to say? Yeah, I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit. I see. Sorry, I just don't like seeing her with someone else. At least he admits it. At least he admits it. That's more than most of us men can do. That deserves a round of applause, everyone. Just saying. No, it's fine. Yeah, and I pissed her off too. It's fine. I, I, can, I can live with some of my mistakes. Because that's my whole life. I understand. Alex glumly pulls away. Yeah, I know what I just did, okay? I know that was a real douche move, alright? But I feel like the character should at least be honest about his feelings. Our feelings, I should say. I'll go find a spot. Maybe you should go and talk to those two? No, because if I do, I'm going to start stabbing someone with a plastic fork. Hey, wait. But it's too late. Alex finds her own table. S sighing, I grab my food and slowly make my way over to Hank and Jane's table. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Personally, I wouldn't even eat. <laughs> I would just go eat by myself. Just like I did every single fucking day for pretty much most of high school because whenever I sat with people, people ended up moving away for some reason. I guess I wasn't that great. Anyway. <clears throat> I can't believe Fox never bothered to bring you over before. Well, we'll be staying here now, so you'll be seeing plenty of us. Uh, cool, I look forward to it. Hank spots me coming over and, lo and looks slightly annoyed, but quickly hides it. I, I get why, and that's why I'm coming over. <laughs> Don't mind if I uh, just come in here and wreck the love party, do you? <laughs> After all, I raised her from the dead. I mean, unless you want some maggots crawling on your dick, I suggest you get the fuck up out of here. Or if you want maggots eating your dick, then let's go ahead and stay here, because <laughs> one way or another, you're going to die. Ember Fox, get on over here. Get over here. Never. I'm about to join him, but only to freeze on the spot. My j body starts shaking, and I'm unable to move. Oh no, am I being controlled? Oh, god damn it. I had to say it, didn't I, man? Why do I predict shit in these games, man? Do I have the fucking power of foresight for these fucking games? Jane. Her face is pale again. It's deathly pale. <laughs> much paler. Her eyes are vacant, staring off at something that isn't there. Hank is still ba blabbering on, having failed to notice it. Shit, what do I do? Seriously? It's gonna take me 26? Alright. Fuck it. I spring into action. I drop my food on the table and grab hold of Jane's arm. She doesn't tense up or anything, instead letting me pull her up. Hey, what the hell? Cafeteria falls silent and eyes are on me. A few whispers travel around how I'm muscling in on Hank's girl. Time to end this shit once and for all. I turn to glare at Hank, fire burning in my eyes. Get your own girlfriend. I brought mine back from the dead. What are you going to do with yours? I leave him standing there, shocked beyond belief, as I lead Jane outside the room. Cafeteria bursts into laughter behind me as I lead Jane outside. 
I dragged Jane behind the school building, gently stroking her face. It's a bit rapey, but okay. Jane! Jane, are you, are you still with me? Meh! <laughs> Jane, listen! Ah! Jane, goddammit! And you just stay calm, okay? And you stay with me here. Just, just, come on. Come on, so you just stay with me. I don't know what this is, but you, but you have to fight it. <laughs> Otherwise, you're gonna kill me, and, well, actually, don't fight it, go ahead and kill me. I need this one for the photo albums, too, okay? Don't, don't ask questions, alright? I can't. Please, Ember Fox, you've gotta get away from me. I can't just exactly leave a zombie to run around on her own devices. Whilst I can still resist, you can resist it. Please, Jane! I don't want to lose my best friend. Welcome to the friend zone! So fight it! Fight like your life depends on it. Fight like my life depends on it, because it does. Or rather, fight like my life depends on it. Yeah. I, pr I predict too much in these fucking games, man. Sorry, I needed water. Oh god, the urges. Tell me more about these urges of yours. I don't want to hurt you. It's alright. You can't hurt me more than I hurt myself emotionally. You won't. Believe me. You won't. But I, I secretly hope you end up ripping out my throat. Just stick with me now. Ch try, to, try to remember the good times, as few as they were. Try to remember some of those, those real good memories that probably exist. I don't know. Good memories. If that's all it takes to fucking knock her out of zombie state, then I'm I'm very disappointed in this game. Yeah. Good memories. Oh, I like the piano music. Like the time we went fishing down by the lake. I mean, that's. It's a bit weird. Oh, she's smiling. I gotta get this for the album. You're welcome, Ember Fox. Why, thank you. Well, the time you dressed me up and put makeup on me. I didn't realize her character was a trap. That was fun. She violently coughs and her skin drops a shade paler. It isn't working. Well, we can choke slam her into the ground. Please, Jane, stick with me. Please, I've got nothing else. Besides Lady Genocide. I don't want to lose you. <laughs> I don't want to lose you again. I fucking can't. I'm sorry. Just get away from me while you still can. I'm not leaving you. Please, Ember Fox. I need this one for the album, too. No. <laughs> Do you want to be predicting this? No! I won't leave you. Like hell I was going to abandon her. I mean, goddamn, if I kill her, I'll just have to bring her back. Now, after everything I went through just to get her back. Shane, please. Please stay with me now. Just, just fight it just a little bit longer. She takes one lurching step towards me, growling. Damn it, she's gone again. <sighs> Just like my love life. I look around, desperately hoping Alex would come to save me yet again. No, brother, you're on your own. No such luck. Alex is probably still eating, or... <laughs> ah, yeah, zombie jokes. Meaning I need to handle this. A squirming idea forms in my head, horrible even to even consider. Without a doubt, extremely painful. It might be the only way to save Jane. Do tell me. Jane, I hope you're in there. And I really hope this works. What? I'd toss off my jacket and pull off my t-shirt, exposing my bare chest. What what are our man nipples gonna do gonna do for Jane? I hold out my shoulder, offering it towards her. Anywhere but the neck. Because that's like one of my greatest features. 
I don't need any hickeys. Just... Jane leaps at me. I'm tackled to the ground once again, hitting the grass with a thud. This time I got nothing to defend myself, and no savior to jump in at the last minute. You could have used your... Your, um... Your jacket, you know, as soon as she fell on you, you could just hold it over and then just grab her with it, and then you don't have to worry about her biting you. And you can pretty much control her head, you know? And that's what I would do. I wouldn't expose my bare fucking chest and be like, Take off my nipples. It's not me. Oh, well. I don't resist. Jane leans down and sinks her teeth into my shoulder. The pain is indescribable. It's like, like holding a bare skin against a burning hot stovetop. Or jamming a knife right through your body. Oh, wow. So, it would kind of be like a knife fight with the dead, huh? But I don't cry out. I hold my tongue, praying nobody sees us. Blood seems seeps from the wound, and Jane greedily laps it up. Her tongue leaves a trail of saliva across my body, the pink tips stabbing at the, at the bite. Tears roll down my cheeks, but I stay silent. Until at last... What? Ember Fox? Oh, God. What have I done? A lot. It hurts. A lot. Don't worry about it, though. I'm good. I'm used to being eaten away by women. Slowly. Mentally. Emotionally. Even physically, although they don't do it physically. It's just mainly emotionally. She gets off me, color returning to her face. I push myself up against the wall, my shoulder hissing in pain. Jane, you fucking bitch! How could you take a bite? No! Ow! You've got quite a bite. Tears stream down Jake's... Uh, j Jenks? <laughs> I said Jenks. <laughs> Jane's cheeks. Oh no, oh no. And I'm so sorry. Hey, if it makes you feel any better, you're the first girl to actually harm me that actually apologized for it, so it's all good. I couldn't find it. I, I couldn't control myself. Well, that just shows that you have no self-control. Please, forgive me. For what? For making me for making me jealous or tearing a part of my body off or something? Either one, I personally don't care, okay? I'm used to it. I don't know if I want to hug Jane after she just bit me. I mean, let me have a little... Let me drink from my chalice from Carl's Jr. here. It's not an actual chalice, it's just a Carl's Jr. cup. Because this is the biggest cup I have for drinking water. Let's see. If we hug Jane, she might cry, or she might bite down into my neck and I might die. Or make it seem like it's no big deal. Playing the cool guy doesn't really work, so we, we gotta hug Jane. I reach over and wrap Jane in a bloody hug. She sobs even more, burying her head in my uninjured shoulder. Oh yeah, that's what it means by turning the other cheek. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I'm used to being eaten alive by women. You're better now. I'm so sorry. Why does she look pissed? <laughs> Sniffling, Jane tears off a piece of her outfit and wraps it around my wound. Whoa. It's quite a reward for taking a piece of me. Thanks. It's the least I can do. Well, no, the least you could do is just take a little nibble of my flesh, not just sinking your fucking teeth into it and ripping off flesh and leaving me with a patch of skin that's probably exposing my ribcage, but hey, you know, to each their own. She helps me to my feet and we head over to the school gate. Alex is already there, concern evident in her eyes. Did she see what happened? Most likely. She helps Jane support me, and, the th and the th together the three of us return home. We just left school like that? Okay. <laughs> As I walked, I remember thinking that this was hopefully the end of this madness. How wrong was I? Most likely, more wrong than you could ever possibly be, brother. <laughs> I got I can I can do another episode. 
But Ember Fox, you have no boobies. I know, it's alright. Where is he? No, I'm kidding. I'm actually ending the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. And uh, sorry if I wasn't like as funny or as energetic or anything. But keep in mind, it's like damn near 10 o'clock and I'm pretty fucking tired. Um, and in case you're wondering if I have enough points for rubies, yeah, actually I do. <laughs> uh, sorry this took so long to get up on, on the, on the, uh, YouTubes, but they changed their policies, so it's being a bit of a bitch when it comes for me to upload anything. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys, uh, enjoyed, enjoyed the video, and if you did, that's, that's great. I don't know if you guys saw the intro that I made, but I hope you did. Anyway, hope to see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to do what I said in the intro to this video. Alright? Anyway, see you guys in the next episode. Bye!